Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician, and on this video, we're gonna take a look at our second method of solving system of equations, and that is the substitution method. Now, in the previous video, we looked at the equal values method, and when that method fails, or we can't use it, that's when we're gonna wanna look at the substitution method and see, can we use this method? So let's go ahead and dive right into a problem and see why substitution method might be better off for us when equal values method won't work. So let's go ahead and start off with two equations. I'll make the first equation y equals negative x plus 7. And the second equation is 5y plus 3x equals negative 13. Now, this is a system of equations. I see two linear equations working together. And we wanna see, before we try substitution method, is whether or not we could use equal values method. Now, our definition for equal values method is two expressions that are equal to the same variable. Well, right now, I see that negative x plus seven equals y. But down here with my second equation, I don't have an expression that's equal to y. We see that this is not in y equals form. And if I wanted to get it to y equals form, I could do some algebra to move some things over to the other side. But instead, let's just not use equal values method. It's gonna get very messy here. And I think a better alternative is this new method that we call substitution method. Now, we see that we have negative x plus seven and that this expression equals y. Down here on this second equation, we see that we also have a y right there. So what substitution method is, is that you're gonna take one of the equations, I'm taking the bottom one here, let me go ahead and write that out, five y, plus 3x equals negative 13. But what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to substitute what I know for this y value. We know from up here on the second equation that y equals negative x plus seven. So instead of writing that y variable, I'm going to now switch it and I'm gonna switch y to be what y actually is. y is negative x plus seven. But I'm going to also continue to write out the rest of that equation. Now what I've just done here is I've taken y and I've substituted what y is. We knew that y was negative x plus seven, so all I did is take that y and change it to be negative x plus seven. That is what the substitution method is all about, is taking the variable that you know an expression for, we knew what y equals, and changing the second equation's variable to match. So now I have this equation here. It has one variable, I have x's there. I can definitely solve this and figure out what x is. So let's go ahead and do that. First things first, I have a parentheses with a five in front, so we're gonna need to distribute this five into both terms in that parentheses. So, five times negative x, that turns into a negative five x. We have five times plus seven, that turns into 35. I bring down the plus three x, bring down the equal sign, I still have negative 13 by itself. So all I did was take that five and distribute it to the terms inside the parentheses. So we have no more parentheses now. Let's go ahead and see if we can combine any like terms. Well, I see that we have negative five X, but plus three X on the same side. I think if I combine those together, negative five X plus three X's, that will turn into negative two X bring down the plus 35, still equals negative 13. All right, we almost got x by itself. So I think our next step here is I wanna move my constant over to the opposite side. 
So let's subtract 35 on both sides. Those 35 zero out, that's what we wanted. I'm left with just negative 2x equals, well let's see, negative 13 minus 35. That ends up being negative 48. And our last step here is I want x by itself, so let's divide both sides by that constant of negative two. I do that and we find out that x equals 24. So we know what our x value is. We know that for part of our solution here, we know that the x value here in the coordinate will be a 24. All we have to do now, just like with our equal values method, is that we need to figure out what our y value is. Now, for equal values method, I said you could use either equation. And for substitution method, that still holds. But I think one of these equations is a lot easier than the other. And I'm talking about this equation on the top. We want to know what y equals. This top equation starts off with y equals. So that's the equation that I want to use because it's going to require the minimum amount of work compared to this bottom equation. Now I know that x is 24. I'm going to substitute that in for this x. So I end up with negative 24 plus 7. And now I just need to punch into my calculator negative 24 plus 7 we find out that y equals negative 17. So that is our final y value for our solution. We now know that our solution is 24 comma negative 17. This is why we do the substitution method because equal values method just would not work. All we have to do, a quick recap, is we have one expression that's equal to a variable, we knew that y equals negative x plus 7. We take that expression and we substitute that in for that y in the second equation. All we have to do is solve to get x by itself. Once we have x by itself, substitute that into the first equation and we figured out what y was. All right, guys, it's that math magician, and I'll see you on the next video.